Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Zoe. I do a lot of beauty on this channel with some vlogs chucked in and today's video is my empties for 2023. Well, not the whole year, just July to December. Um, please buckle in, we have a lot to talk about. Um, I have a whole four and a bit pages on my phone i also have some products surrounding me so let's just get on with it and i'm gonna probably speed up with this um but you know the drill i put up on screen actually i'll do it this side because i can cover darren's chair <laughs> in the picture the pit with the pictures um you know the drill i'm gonna shove up a picture on screen about the product like of the product because i actually don't collect everything every time um, I just write everything down when I finished it, how many mils it was so that I can chuck in a picture. Um, I used to just keep everything but it just creates a lot of waste, not waste, it creates a lot of like clutter that you don't need to have. Um, but yeah, by the way, going forwards, I'm doing this every three months and my next one will be at the start of April um, because I am sick of doing it every six months now. I have far too much crap that I use up, okay? Six months worth, okay? Cool, let's start. You'll be seeing this a lot, I'm sure, because I'm gonna be talking for fucking England. Right, let's just start with boring shit. We have got the um, Radox Bubble Bath 500ml bottles. I used up three, I can't remember which ones they were. Um, my chair is squeaking, I'm really sorry. Um, that's gonna annoy me as much as it's gonna annoy you, I'm sure. Um, yeah, we always use Radox bubble bath because they're like one quid and they're nice. And when we have baths, we like bubbles. Okay, okay. The Vive Skin Nova 5ml, I think I had like a really tiny one of it. I then bought the, the smaller, the next size up minis of that and the Skin Dew and I now have a full size of both in my drawer because I haven't finished using up the small ones yet because I was trying to project pan something um like I was trying to project pan the Charlotte Tilbury thing but I actually really really like this primer um it's a primer by the way um but it's really nice it's really hydrating it's got skincare benefits in it it smells great and it makes my skin look really lovely and when I want to have a bit of a glow I use this or I want my skin to be hydrated which is all the time at the moment because my skin is so so freaking dry and dull um i mean it's currently pissing it down with rain right now that is how wintry we are a very miserable january so far and then we've got the maybelline lash sensational waterproof mascara i i think i i oh god i don't remember i think i just use up stuff you know and i think it's ended up being really dry i have got another one i have i have got it on the go i'm using it it's really lovely my favorite mascara especially for waterproof like it's my favorite waterproof mascara and it's drugstore i need to actually repurchase one um because mine's probably running out now i think i opened it in like october anyway milani highly rated mascara um clearly can't rate it that highly because i don't remember remember it i think i liked it and there's probably videos of me using it but i don't remember it <laughs> i think i remember it having a small wand or smallish wand which i really like i like a wand that's like smaller because if it's too bushy and too much i hate it like mascaras that have natural bristles hate those i poke my eye out every single time i don't know what it is about them they scratch my eyeball maybe i need to like learn to apply my mascara properly <laughs> then we have the garnier micellar oil infused yeah the micellar water which is oil infused the 400 ml i think i i didn't like the film that this left on my skin like the red like a residue because it's oil um i mean if you wash your face after anyway it's fine but i think i use this mainly on my eyes in the end i actually need to get an eye makeup remover because my mascara does not come off properly ever and i end up like going to work the next day after filming the day before my my eyes are black still so i don't want that um oh the cussons shower gel wow that helps which one <laughs> zoe i don't know um a cussons shower gel it was 250ml i'm gonna guess it was probably the love hearts one or something because those are the ones that i gravitate towards but i have no idea um the glow recipe papaya cleansing balm the normal 100ml size i like this cleansing balm it just 
it's not my favorite it feels a bit waxy um i don't know why i said waxy like that for um it's not my favorite um i this is the second time i've purchased it i think i think i had it, had it years ago and i forgot how i felt about it but i don't think i'd repurchase it for the money that you pay it's just not my favorite um then we have the l'oreal lv wonder water the 200 mil i love this shit i actually to get some more because it was i love it it's it's like that added like step that doesn't take a long time it takes like 10 seconds or something it's amazing i need to get the dream Lengths one that's my favorite one i think this was probably the um hyaluronic acid one. Oh, pardon me now i'm drinking water a lot in this video you're gonna hear me burp i'm sorry i am gross um then we have the sex education body scrub I think I got this in the January sales like two years ago and then just had it in my collection and I never used it up, like never used it. So I made a conscious effort to use it. It was all right. It's not my favorite, but it was all right. Uh, the Primark Primer Infused Priming Spray, 100 mil. It says that I made, I think that was like the watermelon one that I used. Two thirds I used of it because it made my eyes water is what it said. Um, I think that was probably one of the things that made my eyes water. My eyes water very quickly um, and I'm very, very sensitive. Like I hate the Huda Beauty loose powder because it makes my eyes water. This Fenty one that I'm currently using, I'm using like the Fenty, why is this bit of hair doing that? I'm using the Fenty um, loose powder. I think that's also making my eyes water a bit, although currently I don't use it around my eyes. I know one of the products I use up that's here made my eyes water, that's powder. Um, but I don't use it around my eyes, but if I get something in my eyes by accident, I know my eyes start watering. So I, I think fragrance in powders, in eye creams, in any eye products makes my eyes water. Um, fragrance on my face, not so bad. Um, just my eyes water like mad. Um, the e.l.f. cleansing balm, it was a 56.5 gram tub i do really like this cleansing bar it's a really good affordable one um I, I was about to say i wish they made it a jumbo size they do i just don't think they do it inside of well not inside my boots for a super drug but i think they do have it online if i remember they brought out a, a full a big size one i can't remember um the cerave foaming cleanser 236 mil i use this to wash my makeup brushes in the end because i started using it over a year ago to wash my face didn't like it as much as I like a salicylic acid cleanser, um, but I use it to wash my makeup brushes in the end, and I finally finished it. Uh, the it's the it cosmetics superhero mini mascara. Um, I think I like this. Um, I don't really remember it. So if I remembered it, it, if I could remember how I felt, like if I don't remember how I felt, clearly it wasn't memorable. Is what I meant. So I'm trying to say, my brain and my mouth are not commuting computing sorry my brain today um the swede cloud mascara i actually really liked um would i repurchase it probably not but i think i got it in an advent calendar um the cult beauty advent calendar from 2021 no 2022 sorry i'm forgetting we're in 2024 my brain like i said it's not computing um the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Serum, 30ml, I liked it. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. Um, I prefer the Bioma Hydrating Serum. Um, it's got a few more benefits than just like a straight up Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, I like a hydrating serum, but like I said, the Bioma one's got their tri-peptide, tri-something complex and ceramides triceramide complex i think i can't remember it's the blue one i love it i'm currently actually cracked into a new one last night literally the first of january yesterday and i cracked into a new product satisfying i'll tell you that much um the drunk elephant tlc facial oh this i hated i did a tiktok on this i was trying to do a tiktok and i ended up doing a completely different tiktok first time i used it absolutely fine it was really nice made my skin feel really good Second time, made my face burn. Third time, made my face burn. Fourth time, made my face burn. I only had the 15mm one. Um, luckily, I didn't buy the big full size one because, oh my god, no. Just no. If you're a teenage girl watching my videos and you're like, oh, drunk heaven. No, just don't do it. It's full 
of chemicals that like make your face really hurt okay don't do it anything drunk elephant you do not i've been seeing it all over tiktok these girls with like drunk elephant just don't do it okay it's really expensive you can find stuff at the drugstore if you really want stuff if you really want to try skincare the drugstore has some brilliant fucking options like stay away from drunk elephant if you're young you do not need drunk elephant okay especially you not put in like using like the retinol one absolutely not absolutely unless it was prescribed by a doctor or un unless you're over 20 don't fucking use retinol all right thanks cool thanks for coming to my ted talk wear some sunscreen that's more important at your age okay um elf stay all night setting spray 80 mil i think i like this is it my favorite setting spray no um did it do the job yeah um it's just not my favorite it's only 80 mil as well I thought normal setting spray is like 100 over. Oh well, anyway. Uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, 20 grams. I love this loose powder. Why can we only get it on Amazon in the UK? Also, why? I thought it was being discontinued anyway. Can we please recommend me some drugstore loose powders? Um, I've got the... I have the I Heart Revolution peach one. Oh god, that fucking scared me. The peach one, although the coconut one is kind of the same. Did that just leak, or is that just I don't know. But these five quid, and they come in a range of shades. So and it smells so good, but you don't need. I don't you don't need like a high-end powder um maybelline yeah the maybelline fit me loose powder I, I did like it i really liked it actually um i'm just i'm annoyed that you can't get it over here i hate being from the uk sometimes sometimes it's fine and in days like this where it's raining like a good one and my lighting shit and i have to have the big light on at eight o'clock in the morning all the through the day not my favorite okay uh, the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Serum 30 mil. I think I used two thirds of this. Um, I think it went off by the time I was trying to finish it. Also, I just don't use Vitamin C serums anymore. I do kind of want to put one back in my routine in the morning. But with acne, it's not really the best idea. So I'm going to stick to not using it, um, Vitamin C now. Um, yeah. Um, Omor, Omorovixia, Queen of Hungry Mist, the 50 mil. Again, I got this in an advent calendar. I would not ever pay that much money for it. It's so expensive. Please, Zoe from the future, put up the price on the screen for me. Thank you. Um, why is it so much money? I remember it being quite a lot of money. Um, I didn't spend money on it. I bought it for, I did it, I got it for the, um, either a cult beauty goodie bag actually, or the cult beauty advent calendar. I can't remember which one, but I would I wouldn't have gone. Oh, that looks nice. I use this to hydrate my face after I cleansed. I cleanse my face in the evening. I dry my face, and then I put that on. Okay, thank you. Yes, phone. I know I need to drink water. Fuck off. All oh, right, fine. I'll do it. You've got proof. Thank you. Right. The pharmacy honey halo moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. It has got to be my favourite moisturiser for the night time I've ever tried. Nothing is as good as this is on my skin. My skin drinks this up. This is what ceramides in it. It has a slight smell to it. It's fine. It doesn't, doesn't irritate my skin or anything. It comes with a spatula on the lid. It's so nice. And I have bought another one and I am currently using my, my new one. It's so good. And I think for this time of year, it's perfect. It's like nice. It's not too thick, but it's not thick. Like it's not thin. It hydrates your skin enough. Like, oh, I love it. I have spoken about it in a favorites video. I think two favorites videos. I think my yearly favorites and also, oh, I'm going to say my June favorites. I can't remember though. Um, my hair's pissing me off i curled it and now it doesn't want to stay like look why i combed them all together they're all in the same direction don't do me dirty like this like, that was my camera's way of telling me to shut the fuck up and we're only just about on the second page by the way and we've already spoken for 15 minutes that is how 
Right, the Neod Multi Molecular Hyaluronic Acid Complex 15ml. Was it special? No, it's a hyaluronic acid serum, it's fine. Um, La Roche Posay Ethical Cleanser 200ml. I've really liked this. Um, would I repurchase it? No, it stripped my skin a little, but it did cleanse my skin really well. Um, Briozio Superfood Hair Mask 240ml. I fucking love this. I love this. This was the avocado y one, I think, the green tub. I love it. It's one of my favourite hair masks. Um, Way Detox Shampoo 300ml. I have started a new one in the last few weeks. And I have a backup of that. I love it. Th does that tell you? Yeah. Um, Tresemme Colour Enhance Hair Mask in Dark Brunette. I can't remember how many mil. It, I got three uses out of this. This was actually really nice. It was quite cheap. I got it on Amazon. Um, they do a few other hair masks as well, like colour enhancing hair masks. But of course, I have brown hair and it's only semi-permanent, so I have to touch it up like every month or so, every three to four weeks. Um, with either actual hair dye or with like a hair colour enhancing mask. And this was really nice. It applied really well. It did the job. You didn't need to leave it on for that long either. Um, really lovely. Loved it. Um, Olaplex number three and number zero. I... I have got another number three under my bed and I will start using it again when I go through um, trying to remove my hair dye. Um, for now I haven't, I haven't used it since the last time I used it up which was probably about July or August um, but I would use it again. It's cheaper than K18, I don't quite need K18, I'm not that damaged, well this is not my hair. Um, Bioma Hydrating Serum, the 15ml, it was really nice, that's why I repurchased it, I knew I liked it. I got it in a little set, um, I think I bought it for myself around my birthday, I think, I believe, um, along with the Rare Beauty Highlighter, um, and I actually really liked, I really like this serum, so bought a big size. The NYX Brow Pencil, I don't remember what shade though, but that's in here. Um, Beauty Bay Eye Base, I finished, I did a two thirds of it, it still had a third left in it, but I had had it open and been using it constantly for two years, and I used it every single time I did my makeup, without fail, and of course it's going around my eyes, I don't want to have irritated eyes, so I decided to throw it away. Um, Soap and Glory Peach Please Body Wash 250ml, not my favourite. Like, not my favourite scent. I thought it would be so nice. Oh, peach. Yum. Nope. Uh, Soap and Glory Righteous Butter 50ml. I really like their but body butters. I actually have a almost full size one and two minis, but they're different fla uh, flavours, different scents that I got in the advent calendar and I'm very excited to use them. Um, custom. Oh, I guess it's customs, but my phone autocorrect it to customs customs um positive vibes only bubble bath again it's bubble bath really liked it um super drug arrange hair therapy spray what i'm guessing i mean argan oil hairspray like a detangling spray right i don't know i'll see if something comes up when i google the pictures later but um, we are on to the third page guys the Garnier Papaya hair drink I really like this as well the same with the um, L'Oreal Wonder Water I really enjoyed it it made my hair feel really nice and the papaya one is my favourite it's for damaged hair um, damaged hair? it's for damaged hair I also used a shampoo and conditioner before really like those um, and I also really love the hair mask I will repurchase that hair mask um, to the day I die probably um, Dr Dennis Gross pore refining serum 15 mil I don't remember how I felt, but clearly I used it up, so clearly I liked it. I wouldn't buy Dr. Dennis Gross again. Again, cult beauty advent calendar. <laughs> um, then we've got the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. Again, I don't think I've repurchased this. I just used it up because I had it. Um, I'm Again, made it my goal to use up makeup products, hair products, skincare, everything that's in my collection. I try and use up, like I'm trying to go for my face powders, my setting sprays. My mascaras I'm still trying to get through. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to get through everything. And this is one that was on my list of things to use up. I wouldn't buy it again. I liked the wand, but I didn't really like the formula. Packaging was cute, though. The little magnet on top. But, well, not actually a magnet. It's like, it's a magnet in the packaging. 
on the packaging. Um, made by Mitchell bronzer in hollow there. I had this as one of my Project Pan products and I used it up within like two months of it being my Project Pan, or my Project Pan. It was so easy to use up. Easier than the blushes. I've never used their blushes up because I have so many, but I use that up so quickly because it's such a, a, um, a light shade. Please Mitchell, please bring them out in a bigger shade range. Not a bigger shade range, in a bigger bottle and also a bigger doe foot for the bronzers. That would be very helpful. Thank you. Um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter 250ml. I actually used up the 500ml and I poured the rest of the 250ml that I had into that bottle and I'm currently using that. So really, that is my 500ml one that I've finished up now, finally. I bought that when I had my tattoo done in 2022 in July and it took me like a year and a bit to use it up because I didn't use it every day every time I come out the bath or the shower now almost every time nine times out of ten I will moisturize my body so go me um then we have the superdrug strawberries and cream shower gel 250 ml really liked it I like their shower gels they're really nice um I have one here I'll talk about that later in a bit even um they're, they're really cheap i would actually buy them again and i have bought them again and i probably will buy them again again all right thank you um bioma milky oil cleanser 100 ml i really i liked this but it just smelled funny it smelled like rosemary oil and i know that i've been using my rosemary oil in my hair and i've now finished it up that's probably in this list somewhere i'm sure of it um i'm sure i'll find it in a minute um but i don't want that smell on my face so i liked the product but i didn't like the scent the scent would put me off if they made an unscented version i'd try that um i wouldn't use this to take off my makeup but to take off like spf fine um bleach london reincarnation conditioner still using up the shampoo i loved this condition shampoo and conditioner set um is it my favorite no while I had my really damaged hair, like my hair's not as damaged now. Yeah, it's a bit dry, but that's the season. Um, and I've just curled it. Um, yeah, it's dry, but it's not as damaged as it once was. Oh, bloody hell, I've been sitting there for ages now. Um, so yeah, I probably would repurchase. I love the, condition the hair mask. So I'd repurchase the hair mask. Probably not the shampoo and conditioner, maybe just the conditioner. Got to keep hydrated, lads. I got this cup for, from TikTok shop for Christmas. Um, it's huge and it's great. No more whacking my teeth on my fucking metal straw. Because I actually do have a slight chip in my tooth from my fucking metal straw. And I'm pretty sure it's my metal straw. Can't be anything else. Uh, Tesco's Extracts Muscle Soap 1 litre. We've used two. Again, bubble bath. I get it in the food shop it's great uh, the body shop hand cream mango this was in my like the 30 mil this was in my work bag and whilst i also mentioned i also used up the burt's bees um sort of caramel lip balm that's currently in my work bag but i can't be bothered to find it right now but that's empty um colgate mouthwash <laughs> yeah it's mouthwash i started using mouthwash recently properly um I'm a good child, I guess. She Glam Cleansing Balm. This was all right. I liked that the spatula was in the lid of the packaging. Um, I didn't really like the product as much. Um, so I'm going to pass on this. Aveeno Calm and Restore Cleanser 200ml. I actually really like this. It was quite a gentle cleanser. And I probably would repurchase it again if there wasn't so many that I wanted to try. Um, but a really lovely cleanser there. Um, oh calm and restore range is really lovely i've tried two products so far i want to try more of it but i have so much to use up first that i'm just like not right now uh l'oreal vive hyaluronic acid conditioner where's the shampoo oh and shampoo sorry um i really like this set it was really nice it's just not my favorite it smelled really nice made my hair feel nice pardon me the medicate crystal retinol 3 30 ml um the reason that i fell in love with retinol um and actually my i i started using the intense one used it like a f like for two months or a month and a bit and then i got prescribed something from my 
GP for my acne that has a dapolene in it which is a retinol so I can no longer use the other retinol because I, I can't double retinol so fun uh the revolution skin miracle eye cream 15 mil not my favorite felt all right it felt quite nice that whole range the miracle range is meant to be a charlotte tilbury dupe charlotte but the, it has retinol in it i wanted to try the cream to like before my makeup and stuff it's got retinol in it if anyone didn't know it has retinol in it um neutrogena hydro boost jelly milk 200 ml i use this as like a morning cleanser but i don't use more well it's like a you put it on a cotton pad and use it that way i don't use morning i don't use cleansers in the morning anymore um so yeah but i did like it it was all right i got it on discount in boots the super drug strawberry and raspberry shower gel is in here so we know that i like that bioma jelly cleanser I don't remember this. Oh, it was a mini. It was a 30 mil mini. That's probably why I'm like, huh? Um, again, I liked it, but it wasn't like, apparently it wasn't memorable. The West Lab Himalayan bath salts, one kilogram. Again, baths. Soap and Glory Scrubber Your Life 200 mil. I fucking love Soap and Glory Scrubber Your Life. I have another one that I got from the Avant Candor. I'm very happy about it because I love that freaking body scrub so much. I just hate the packaging, and I might have to pour once i finished up the current one that i'm on which is a tub one i think i might have to open it up and pour it into the tub because i can't be dealing with squeezing the packaging the packaging's too thick uh although i did put the burt's bees lip balm on here the charlotte tilbury foundation uh, airbrush foundation i used up half in the end uh, that was my project pan but it was just so out of date and old and it just wasn't working properly for my skin so i just um i just chucked it garnier hair mask pineapple and amla i love this it's my favorite scent they've ever brought out i love all the scents apart from banana i just don't like banana um but this made my hair you could smell this in my hair for days after like days after it was so nice and the smell of it is amazing and it made my hair feel really nice. Um, Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, 100 ml each of them. Not my favourite. They were all right. Not my favourite. Um, number seven, hydroluminous water surge gel. Huh? Oh yeah. I used it in the morning. I was like, huh? Um, didn't hydrate my face as much as I wanted. Yeah, it was a, a morning one. A morning um, face moisturizer trying to get my words out i was gonna call it a face mask it's not a face mask Zoe. um yeah it was a morning moisturizer so it's not going to be as thick and hydrating as a night cream but it just wasn't my thing um the dove bar soap i use that to wash my makeup brushes as well and now i have started to use them in the shower and the bath to as my first cleanse on my body as well um really like them the body shop mango hand cream Apparently I put it in here twice. Um, Nick Stick It Stick It eyebrow gel, um, eyebrow gel. Really loved that. Um, and if the wand was smaller, I'd buy them all the time. But the wand is just too fucking big. That's what she said. Um, the Hair Syrup Grows Me Oil 100ml. You know I love that product. It made my hair grow so quickly. Like My damage was so bad. I needed to grow it. And consistently using it every single week made a huge difference um you to the people adapt adapt to gen deep moisture cream not my favorite again not my favorite um i prefer my pharmacy one um not bad though and i got this in a cult beauty advent calendar of course where else um the bioma moisturizing gel cream this was like a mini i have used up a full size before and it is one of my favorite daytime moisturizers um actually it's it's my favorite over the glow recipe one as well it hydrates more i, f I had i actually am using the glow recipe one again recently because it was in the trend the trending box the tiktok trending box that cult beauty did that i bought and it's like a smaller one but i just i just don't gel with it anymore it's not hydrating enough for my skin at the moment maybe in summer but mm, i'll still use it up though check out my next empties for that product um 
we've got the Fable and Main Holly Roots 14.4 mil. I actually have got another mini as well to use up, and then I actually have a full size, although which I got for Christmas. Although when I opened the packaging after my what I got for Christmas that day that I filmed that, I I opened everything out of the packaging and put everything on my list and started to put everything away. It had leaked everywhere, so I've lost like a quarter of the bottle, like nearly a third of the bottle because it leaked everywhere and there's nothing that Colt Beauty are doing about it. But Good job it was on a discount in the set and I didn't personally buy it, it was Darren. But yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, I bought that for you in September, like it's fine. Why is my camera detecting a face here? Hello? I think it's just because there's some cloves there. If I do that, it goes. Fuck knows. Anyway, um, the Neom Super Shower Power Shampoo 50ml. Not my favourite. It's like a detox. It's, it's there again. It's going to annoy me. Um, it's not my favourite. It's like a detoxing-ish shampoo, but it wasn't great. It smelled really bad. Um, I, I didn't like the smell of it at all. Um, I wouldn't purchase the full size. Again, I think it was from a calendar or a box or a bag or something. Be right back. My camera's telling me I'm, I've talked for too long again. We then have the Simple Shower Gel, which I started, I bought um, originally again because where I had my 72 hour tape done in June, um, I ended up having like a massive like reaction on my chest where the tape was. Um, and like under my boobs so I bought that so it wasn't as like because all my shower gels at the time um were like scented and I didn't want anything scented on my chest I also had to then buy a specific cream I also then also had a steroid cream that I used um which I did make it go down in like a week so that's really good um so yeah I used up that um the cousins driving gnome for christmas bubble bath smell incredible please cousins bring that out in a normal scent not just for a christmas one it smells so nice um it's like cherry and something it was so good then we have the clairol gloss up um in warm caramel brownie you know i love that that's the last time i did a dye to my hair it's not a dye it's um a colored hair mask um and I love that product, it's so nice and I just, yeah. Get it on offer though. They always have offers. Um, the L'Oreal Bond Repair Pre-Shampoo Treatment, I finally used up. I did that video, what, like earlier this year? And I finally used up the product. I just thought to myself, I was like, you have to use it, Zoe. Like, you have it, use it. But. <laughs> and the last thing on this list is the B cleansing balm the jumbo one and that's all the empties i have on my list now let's go through the ones that i have here so recently actually not not recent um i hit pan on this product and nearly finished it but i can't really get my brush around it the charlotte tilbury airbrush floors finish powder um so that that was actually just sitting on my desk that i was meant to put on my list months ago and then just didn't so we have that um i used this up a few days ago the number seven hydroluminous water concentrate i can't for the life of me pour the little bit out that's left it will not come out i've tried again it's a hyaluronic acid serum pretty much and it's not my favorite because it didn't hydrate enough okay thank you for coming to my ted talk i used this up um about a week ago the super drug fruity candy floss shower gel this smells like snow fairy So good and they have this all year round now at one point it was just a limited edition they have it all year round these are like really cheap as well um they're like you can get them on member price for buy one get one free and they're like a pound they're so good whenever i'm in superdrug again i need to pick up some more because they are so nice i do need to go to superdrug at some point in like the next month um just one i want to and two i need to pick up medication so i know what i'll be doing um the ogx argan oil of morocco extra penetrating oil and um, i use this on my ends for pre-wash treatment i've got fucking hair all over it and it's covered in oil but what do we expect it's an oil um again not my favorite one apparently the um the coconut version of this is the better one 
but I don't really like coconut which is why I bought the argan oil one but apparently it's the coconut one that's the better one um I actually I need to finish up this it's tiny little bit left but I thought I'd, I'd include it in here and um, the the Laneige lip sleeping mask in grapefruit now please tell me that counts I I will probably use this up in another like day or two but I thought I'd include it because otherwise it's like too late I do really like this I'm just sick of the grapefruit now it's but it's such a huge tub you don't need a whole lot it's a lip mask I want the vanilla one but I have the chocolate one open um and I also have a mini berry one which I might put in my work bag um because it's tiny um and then I actually when I went did my shot my I filmed my shot my stash this morning or just now um like before this video and these two mascaras are actually empty um so we've got the revolution 5d whip lift it doesn't look empty i promise you it is it's not really giving at all like nothing it gives nothing um did i like it yeah meh wouldn't buy it again and essence lash princess and waterproof i not my favorite it's a normal brush it's not my favorite um and then the last two products that i have here i actually used up a couple of days ago oh god give me a sec my cards are flying oh yes i still have christmas cards up in january leave me alone i need to actually put them file them away um i've been working on these the whole year and they've finally run out well this has still got some left in it but i've given up on it now this is done i don't know how much i've got left of it because it's like an airless pump and i can't see shit but there's probably like a use or two out of here left like this is this nothing else is coming out of the num the olaplex number six and number seven i used to pair these i used to I pair these together and i'm glad they're done i'm no longer purchasing these i've used them for two years in a row <laughs> and i'm sick of them now all right i'm just trying to use up my shit it's like i have an olaplex number nine in here that i used for a little bit and then gave up on it and now i'm starting to use it up and when it's finished i'm not touching it again some olaplex products like number three it's fine but and i have got a number eight moisture mask which i think i think i liked when i tried it before but i'll try it again um but yeah number like olaplex is just not my thing anymore um not as much as it was like i was like number one number two i was like buying everything not number one and number two you can't buy them unless you're a licensed cosmetologist but um yeah everything everything else apart from like a few newer products they've brought out i tried everything they're not my favorite products okay thank you for coming to my ted talk but yeah that is all of my empties for the for the six last six months like i said i'm gonna start doing these every three months because i am sick and tired of it being like half an hour long 40 minutes long so in future you'll be expecting these every three months okay thank you so the next one will probably be around start of april for my january to march empties and there won't be as many products which is fine by me so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one so bye guys